Hey, it's your girl, Emily Curl with iHeartRadio. And today we're hanging out with artist, producer, DJ Elenium. Elenium, what's up? How are you? What's up? Thanks for having me. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Nice. I mean, we already talked about this, but your studio is so sweet. It's so fun to get a like, view into this. Is this where all the music you make happens? Yep, this is where everything, uh, I got this done like a year and a half ago. And so pretty much ever since then, it's uh, it's my main area that I just hang out in all the time. I love it so much. Let's start off by talking about Sideways. First off, congratulations. Cool. I love this song. Oh, and thank you, you said this was something that you really needed after this past year and listening to it. I mean, we all can relate. Walk me through the process of creating this one in particular. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was really smooth. It was so fun. Uh, I've been friends with with Jack Nurko, who I produced the song with for we've been chatting for, I don't know, the past couple of years. And uh, I kind of so Valerie sent me a top line that was I just fell in love with like immediately. It, and the demo was really simple. It was just piano. And, and I was just like so in love with it. And I was talking to Jack about doing it or Nurko about doing a song and I sent him that. And then I ended up, he was super down. We all kind of like fell in love with it. And it was just this like, I don't know, lyrically and, and melo like melodically, the vocal just really captures me. And uh, there's some really mm -hmm. cool chord progression stuff they did in the demo that I really fell in love with. But yeah, I just, I kind of just started the intro and then worked our way and we just passed back and forth like four times. And it was, we pretty much weren't ever stuck on it. It was very easy and very flowy. Lyrically, you touched on this. I mean, I love the whole message. When the world is going sideways, I'll be sideways here with you. I yeah. listened to it and immediately thought of someone in my mind of like who got me through, especially this past oh, year. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> who is that for you? I mean, I think it's a combination. I think Laura, my girlfriend, and I have been like definitely like leaning on each other through this whole process because we both just are so ready to get back out there. And, you know, we're just, I mean, it's been so nice because we've gotten to spend more time together too and like with our dog and it's been great, but not being able to go and play shows, not being able to see like a fan base and like resonate with people. Like that's the reason I make music is because I get to like, it impacted me in such a deep way music does. And like seeing that reflected in the people that, you know, that love the music is like, mm. oh, that's what keeps me going, you know? And so it's been it's been like really weird to not have that for for a long time yeah. so I, we're both kind of just like let's <laughs> let's go no let's talk about you know more music off your fourth upcoming album fallen yep. embers coming soon do we have a date on that yet is it official yeah july 16th we just announced july 16th so exciting mm -hmm. congratulations how are Thank you feeling you. what are you most excited for the fans to hear oh man um it just has all like it has a song for everyone and it has like a sound that is is literally every single thing that I love about electronic music, pop punk and, you know, like dubstep. It has like every it has a little bit of every single thing that I'm obsessed with. You know, like Ascend was much more rocky, I think. I feel mm -hmm. like I, I, I brought back a little bit more of like the dancey sounds because I did miss it a little bit. But yeah, interesting. Now, can yeah. we expect collabs on this, too? The yeah, there's a but there's some uh, yeah there's some really cool collabs. There's uh, indie singer songwriters all the way to like really sick producers and DJs. It's really cool. Well, speaking of collabs, let's talk about first time with Ian Dior. Yeah, the song is fire. The video is fire. How did you two <laughs> think... originally you know become friends? Meet up. We kind of met through managers, and I had this demo that I was working on and managers got us connected and he was super digging it. We, it was really seamless. Honestly, he went in the studio one day and I pretty much cut the vocals and, and got it and finalized. And then the first time we actually got to hang out was for the music video. And so that was nice, but yeah, we were just FaceTiming back and forth before then it, it was a, like making the song was really easy for us. We both just were like, this is so catchy and sick. Like, it's a really easy song to like sing with and, and I, it was really, really seamless. Let's talk about the video because when I first yeah. watched it, I was not <laughs> expecting that. When, when she first walked into the road, I was like, oh, yeah, shoot, right. and in twists and turns, a little VR simulation action. What was the creative concept behind it? I mean, I think we just didn't really want to do the normal, like the, the normal whatever music video with with like the band performance and like this the love story like it's kind of there but it's also like different in like this when we first read the the storyboard we were just like cracking up because it was like thrown in your face this is totally not normal <laughs> so, 
So <laughs> now you've also collabed with a ton of other great artists. You kind of mentioned it, John Bellion, Chain Smokers, Lennon, Stella, yeah. to name yep. just a few. <clears throat> Who else is on your list, the top of your list? I mean, doing the the collab with Tom DeLong in in November, like back in November, October, for Paper Thin, that was like pretty pretty bucket list for me because I'm like such a big Blink fan and Angels and Airways fan, and so that was huge. And he's the nicest guy like I've ever met. That was really cool. I think in terms of producers, I would love to like work with Skrillex. I think the stuff he's putting out right now is super interesting and cool. I love Thirty Seconds to Mars. I love like rock bands, but also like Dua Lipa. <laughs> She's fire. <laughs> She's so fire. Yeah. <laughs> I need yeah. that as well. Um, now you kind of mentioned this, but what do you miss most about performing? It's like the most euphoric, crazy experience ever. And, and I feel like you, you really just like are seeing people like have pure joy. And it's like mm -hmm. from a thing that you're, you're doing and it's, I feel like this past year, there's been such a lack of seeing people have joy. All you see really, really this past year is just like frustration or like political crap or stuff on social media that's just really toxic. And there's like no room to like have joy with people and have like, uh, you know, emotional experience or healing or any of that with music. And I feel like that's such a huge part of like my life. And I feel like I'm, I'm definitely ready to get back there and see some people, you know. Yeah, I mean, and after taking a hiatus from performing and touring, do you think it's going to change at all how you do your shows, how you prep for it, any of that kind of thing for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely want to be more in the moment with everything. I, I think I got really tired last time I was traveling so much internationally and like all of the touring. I, I think it just got a little overwhelming. I, I, I think it's just natural if you're touring for like three or four years that much to get that like you know i got a little worn out um and so i wasn't taking them you know like if i'm in that headspace i don't really i don't really like enjoy it as much as i should or really like cherish it as much as i should yeah it's tough so yeah but i think this time it's just I, i'm like ready to be in the moment and just like really take it in and not take it for granted that's for sure so much to look forward to congratulations on the new yes. album on sideways on shows we cannot wait to see you there. And hopefully next time we do this, it'll be in person at our iHeart offices. Yes, please. I hope to. I hope to. I'm very excited to. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for watching our interview with Elenium. Make sure you stream all of his music on iHeart Radio, and we'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye, guys.